In just 15 minutes, the scene at Riverport turned from a concert to a riot. More than 60 people, including a dozen police officers, were injured. Some received broken bones. It took more than an hour and 400 police officers to get the riot under control. This was as bad and as violent as any of I've, as I've ever seen, and I've, I've been involved in, in several of them, and this was as, as bad as any of them. The trouble started at about 11.15 last night, 90 minutes into a concert by the band Guns N' Roses, seen here in another performance. Lead singer Axl Rose apparently spotted someone with a camera in the audience, and when the camera wasn't confiscated, Rose went in after it. Axel got in a fight with some guy and then the security guard pulled him apart because they were afraid and he just threw down the microphone and left. He said, your security is lame, I'm going home and threw the mic down and of course broke it because it was real loud. After the band left the stage, concert goers say the band's security came out and began fighting with the crowd. He jumped on my back, he started choking me, in, in which instance I started pushing him away and he started punching me in the face. Then the riot started. An estimated 2,000 people began tearing up Riverport, ripping up chairs and destroying brand new sound and video equipment. They were tearing out entire rows of chairs, throwing them on the stage. Uh, VIP chairs were going on the stage. Um, they were tearing half the stage down. Um, they had speakers were going out into the crowd. While security guards and some policemen were on the scene, they could not control the violence. And at 1128, Maryland Heights police declared a riot, known as a Code 1000. Within minutes, up to 400 police from all over the area descended on Riverport. 16 people were arrested, some for inciting the riot. Members of Guns N' Roses were not arrested. It took dozens of ambulances to take care of all the injured. A lot of people were carried off in stretchers. Three or four of our security guards were carried off in stretchers. It was just unreal. In the wake of the riot, Many concert goers are now worried not only about security here, but a lack of exits. They make it so secure so nobody can sneak in, you can't get out. Police officials say they have not yet decided whether to charge members of Guns N' Roses in connection with the riot. Meanwhile, the band's next stop in Chicago had to be canceled because most of their equipment has been destroyed. Jeff Fowler for NBC News, Maryland Heights, Missouri.